Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you love racing games, you're in for a treat. In this video, I'm going to show you the 14 best racing games on Android in 2023. These games are fast, furious, and fun. Whether you want to race on the streets, the tracks, or the off-road, there's a game for you. So buckle up and let's get started. At number one, Hyperburner. Hyperburner offers a simple premise. Pilot your ship through a variety of difficult courses, dodging asteroids and space stations at high speeds. It's easy to pick up, but you'll quickly realize that you'll need lightning-fast reactions to top the leaderboards. While Hyperburner is a little simplistic at times, it's an enjoyable game that you can lose yourself in for ages. Just make sure to adjust the sensitivity, as it can feel oversensitive when you start playing. At number 2, Riptide GP Renegade. Beautiful graphics, a thrilling soundtrack, and original racing mechanics make Riptide GP Renegade a must-play racing game. The visuals are incredibly stunning, but you may need one of the best Android gaming phones to avoid a drop in frame rates at the highest settings. Riptide GP. Renegade's races are short and sweet, easy to fit in on your commute to work. It has a reasonably steep learning curve, but stick with it, and you'll master the controls in no time. But if you're struggling to master your hydro jet, we recommend picking up an Android controller for greater control over acceleration and turning. At number 3, Rush Rally 3. Rally fans have to give this one a go. Rush. Rally 3 is the closest you can get to a console-quality racing simulation on your phone. Plenty of solo and multiplayer modes exist, so you can race in any way you choose. On top of this, it has full controller support and a customizable touch control system so that you can find the most comfortable controls. Rush Rally 3 has a real-time damage system, so as you collide with trees, obstacles, or other cars, your car will deform and break appropriately. The graphics are a little dated, but if you want an authentic rally experience, go no further. At number 4. Asphalt 9 Legends Asphalt 9 is a perfect compromise between racing sim and arcade racer. While the game is full of real-world cars, parts, and real-life locations, it knows you want the feel of racing, not the stress of changing gears at the optimal time. It's challenging but easy to learn. Part of what makes Asphalt 9 so accessible is the variety of control options at your disposal. There's tilt steering, touch controls, and an option that controls the acceleration and steering for you. It's not autopilot, as you'll still need to make quick decisions to win, but it's much easier to enjoy the spectacle of Asphalt 9 with it enabled. If there's one game on this list to enjoy on an Android tablet, it's this one. At number 5, Grid Autosport. Grid Autosport was initially released on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation in 2014. The Android version is the latest port of many. While the graphics are a tad dated today, it's the closest you can get to a console racing game on the Play Store. Despite its age, it includes many modern racing features like soft body deformation. Where Asphalt 9 leans towards an arcade racing style, Grid Autosport offers a realistic experience. It's one to play with a controller for an immersive experience. At number 6, Horizon Chase. Horizon Chase may look simple, but you'll experience as many nail-biting finishes as on Asphalt 9. It's perfect for those who want a fast, fun, and straightforward racing game. Horizon Chase is a retro racer with tons of quality-of-life features. Those who grew up on the racing games of the early 90s will feel right at home here, as, despite a few modern additions, it doesn't let go of its roots. Bold colors, sharp polygons, and a spectacular array of seasons and weather show that you don't need ultra-realistic graphics to make a good-looking racing game. At number 7, CSR 2. Are you tired of messing up your corner drifts in Grid Autosport? Give CSR 2 a go. It's a drag racing game, so you'll practice your gear changes rather than cornering skills. A hyper-realistic simulator, you can tinker and race with your favorite vehicle to your heart's content. While CSR 2 encourages you to purchase its microtransactions, it's enjoyable without spending any money on it. Get this if you need a quick racing game on rails, you can squeeze in on a bus ride. At number 8, 
Mario Kart Tour. Mario Kart is the biggest name in racing games, and after a few years of wonky design choices, Mario Kart Tour has finally come into its own. It's the classic Mario Kart experience built for mobile, with plenty of unique features. For example, the Tour part refers to courses inspired by real-world locations, and there are new game modes that can only be found here. Mario Kart Tour is a multiplayer game at heart. You can play globally or locally against friends or strangers. The competitive racers among us will enjoy rising up the ranks, but casual players will get the most out of this fantastic racing game. If you can't play Mario Kart on a Nintendo console, give this a shot. You won't regret it. At number 9, Rush Rally Origins. Top-down racers might not be as realistic as classic first-person racing games, but they'll stretch your racing skills regardless. Rush Rally Origins is the best of this subgenre, drawing on the previous games in the series to create a gripping rally experience. Rush Rally Origins lets you play how you want. Whether you wish to adjust the on-screen controls to fit your thumbs or attach a controller, Rush Rally has you covered. It's also one of the best games on Play Pass, which means subscribers can play it for free. At number 10, Data Wing. Who said a good racing game required real-world vehicles? Data Wing proves that all you need to have exciting races are neon lights and different colored triangles. While it's a relatively short game, the story-driven approach offers a more absorbing experience than most other games on this list. Data Wing is an actual arcade game that is an engaging experience from start to finish despite its lack of controller support. The only thing that might improve it is a multiplayer option, but this might be a relief for some people. However, there are leaderboards so you can compete with others for the fastest times. At number 11, Asaluto Racing. Another delicate balance of realistic and arcade racing mechanics, Asaluto Racing, is a competitive track racing game that utilizes realistic physics to let you drift while staying in complete control of your car. It's similar to Asphalt 9, so Asaluto Racing is a must-play if you enjoyed that. There's a lot of customization in Asaluto Racing, and it's not just visual. You can adjust gear ratios, torque, and horsepower, or install a new suspension to suit your preferences. People who enjoy tinkering with cars and researching the best option in any situation should give Asaluto Racing a go. At number 12, Hot Lap League. Enjoy the arcade gameplay of Asphalt 9 but felt it was a bit too conservative? Give Hot Lap League a try. It offers enough competitive racing features to keep you hooked, but the ridiculous tracks are the real selling point. You'll perform maneuvers unseen in any other racing game, thanks to Hot Lap League's tenuous relationship with the laws of physics. Hot Lap League offers an extraordinary amount of content for everyone. Those who don't like competitive racing can find solace in the time trial competitions, and everyone will soon get the hang of the loops, jumps, and magnetic tracks. All the cars are the same, so winning is a case of your skill with the controls. It's great fun and a must-play for any racing fan. At number 13, Wreckfest. Wreckfest's Android port may have started out suffering from noticeable performance issues, but seeing this fantastic racing game on phones is still a remarkable achievement now that many issues have been addressed. Utilizing soft body physics to create realistic damage, Wreckfest is an excellent destruction derby game that's also a racer. In Wreckfest, you can choose from regular races or destruction derbies. A campaign mode takes you through most of the cars and game modes available, or you can jump into a custom game to create your own. At number 14, Hellrider 3. Hellrider 3 changes the perspective of previous games, offering a third-person view rather than a top-down one. Fans of the series won't be disappointed, though, as Hellrider 3 still provides the same low-poly racing fan. Each level pits you against other riders, as well as a variety of bizarre enemies, including giant monsters. Hellrider 3 is free to play with in-app purchases, but these won't inconvenience your gameplay. Just be mindful of the ads, as some players have reported game crashes after watching them. And that's it for our list of the 14 best racing games on Android in 2023. We hope you enjoyed this video and found some new games to play on your device. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more gaming content. Also, 
Let us know in the comments which racing game is your favorite and why. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.